600 planes worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Over 200,000 people eager for aerial entertainment. For six days, a flat, dusty airfield at Avalon, west of Melbourne, became Australia's aviation capital, playing host to the biggest air show ever seen in the Southern Hemisphere. Welcome to the Australian International Air Show Down Under. I'm David Brown and for the next hour I'll give you a guided tour of this massive display on the ground and in the air. And a little later on we'll take a look at the awesome power of this fighting falcon. We'll highlight spectacular performances by an assortment of aircraft. Big, small and really small. We'll meet death-defying pilots joining them on board for a rare and at times dizzying view of stunt flying. The air show officially began several days before it opened to an eager public. Victorian Premier Jeff Kennett doing the honours by opening the Trade Expo. It's with great pleasure on behalf of uh, the Victorian government and the opposition and the Victorian public that I officially declare open the 1997 Australian International Air Show and Aerospace Expo. The Expo ran for the first three days. We'll see more of that later. It was a hot time for the participants. Temperatures in the low 40s, gusty winds and plenty of dust making life difficult. The first chance the public was given to mingle with the machinery was Friday night. It was billed as a flight and light spectacular. Australian jazz star James Morrison and his band started proceedings. After the official speeches, it was time for the RAAF's precision flying team, the Roulettes, to take centre stage. A pristine twilight sky and music from a jazz legend. What more could an air show want? aboard these PC-9s are experienced flying instructors. Their roulette training is on top of their regular duties. The pictures you're seeing from the cockpit come from their video. Every performance is taped and analysed. By the way, the smoke comes from a fire mist of oil spraying onto the hot exhaust outlet. of the Friday night display, Australian aerobatics expert Chris Spiru. The old playing tradition continued soon after with the Southern Knights. Based in Victoria, the Knights Flyer restored World War II trainer planes called Harvards. 